Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and hello to anyone who's just stumbled across this video. I would love to share the gospel with you, first and foremost, that um, it's that Jesus Christ, God himself, came in the flesh. He was born of a virgin. He died on the cross for you, for all the sins of the world, and if you accept that free gift of salvation, that you believe that he died for you, and that he rose again on the third day, that's important, the resurrection of Christ if you believe in that, then you will be saved. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus today, please, before it is too late. Um, <clears throat> a word just I wanted to share with brothers and sisters. Um, just the also uh, what inspired this video is what I wanted to say is uh, Sister Stephanie at Blessed Hope 117 just posted a video I posted it in the community community um, tab or community page, I think, um, just encouraging the body of Christ that when you are attacked for sharing about Jesus, about sharing that he's coming soon, and when you struggle with doubt, um, to be encouraged uh, because the enemy doesn't want his word going out. So she just really inspired me to just to share um, this and make this video and the Lord had put this in my heart a few days ago um, just the book of Habakkuk and how he is waiting for this revelation that he gets from the Lord and um, first of all he is like almost like in the days of like Lot like when his righteous right says Lot his righteous soul was um you know, being tormented from what he's seeing, I'm paraphrasing, but just living in a, a just during abominable evil times, and Habakkuk saying, like, how long, O Lord, must I call for help, but do you do not listen, and he's crying out to the Lord, and the Lord's saying, basically, I'm going to rise up, raise up the Babylonians to punish the nation of Israel, and, um, it says the revelation awaits an appointed time and uh but the righteous will live by faith and that's what we're doing in our day we're waiting for Jesus and we're waiting on what God has shown so many of us that another nation which many has seen it being Russia China etc but what the point is is another nation invading America and basically all the nations going to war so not just America being affected, but this being a world war and all the nations being affected because um, we're in the final moments of the end of days. And um, we are waiting patiently for the day of calamity like Habakkuk. And it's really hard to keep on waiting and to not doubt. And as Stephanie from, from was saying, Sister Stephanie was saying in her last video that um, you know, you can, it's, it's, it's in our nature and to doubt and to question the Lord to be, is this really from you? Are you really coming? And it is a good thing to, um, be weary of is what I'm saying from the Lord or not and to test the spirits, but it's also, uh, not good that in our flesh that we doubt his word and um, but the Lord knows and is so gracious and confirms his word you know just like he did for Gideon and he does for us and when we cry out to him in truth and really are seeking true knowledge from him so I just wanted to come on here and encourage you that you know the book of Habakkuk is just such a good one to read and you know it's a ministry of reminders right in our christian walk and um that we're we're waiting patiently for the lord and his glorious appearing and it says yet i will rejoice and be glad in my savior you know though he's though trouble is there and he says the fig tree does not bud and there's no grapes on the vines you know, etc. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. And that joy can only be given to us through Christ. It's supernatural when we experience um, the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And so I just pray, brothers and sisters, for you that the Lord would just continue to lift up your hearts towards him and sustain you and give you perseverance during this time of 
waiting on him. And even if you've been waiting for two, three, five, ten plus years, um, he can renew our strength and he can lift us up on wings like eagles. And it is supernatural. And he builds in us perseverance and strength and um, fortitude <laughs> as we're waiting. And it's not easy. I laugh because it's not easy, but God, right? But God and his word is a comfort. And, you know, Habakkuk's prophecy, his word comes to pass. It will come to pass. And um, there's this times of waiting, though, where it seems like it's you've been waiting forever. Um, but, um, things are happening and, um, birth pains are still coming and the eclipse is coming up in April 8th and other things the Lord is warning and showing us. So I think that's it. And Mika, Mika, do you want to say hello? Isn't she pretty? She's such a good kitty. Say hello, Mika. So, okay, that's it. Love you all. God bless.